Hey everyone, doing the uh, pawn takedown video. This is about the middle of October, and I had this 70 gallon container pond set up for just two months. I set it up in the middle of August, and it was mostly a kind of an experiment, proof of concept, make sure things uh, did okay, that uh, I liked how it worked, and um, next year I'd like to try it, but set it up um, something like 1st of May or mid-May and see how, how things do. Now what we're in here was, uh, there was three species of top minnows and some platys and then some uh, gambusia, some mosquito fish that I had used as cycling fish way back when and uh, have just always kind of had. So. Um, I want to talk about the plants first and how well those did. This is what was in the pond. I had um, obviously some uh, water hyacinth. I started out with three, ended up with just gobs, so it did really well. I, uh, it didn't flower, but I think that's just because I didn't have it in there long enough. And, uh, but it did great. And the roots on these are just so healthy. I mean, if you look at these, they're just like pristine, pristine roots. They look really nice. So, really good. The um, guppy grass, I mean, I just have gobs of it. In fact, I threw half of it away. It just, it did really nicely. And you see, it just looks good. Uh, nice leaves, nice, nice color. The um, floating pennywort here. Um, did not do so well. And the roots of this, what's here, look great, if I can pull this out. But I had a, we had a couple nights at, you know, mid-50s kind of thing, and I lost a lot. And I don't know whether it was because of the temperature being too cold, and we also had kind of a heat wave during the day at the time, and it was, you know, in the uh, high 80s, maybe low 90s, and I lost some. So I'm not sure if that was the case. What is here was kind of underneath the um, water hyacinth and then the, just the leaves were kind of poking through. So it could be that just there was just too much sun exposure for the, the roots and the stems. So we'll give that another go if it makes it through the winter. Um, this guy, which is the, um, if I can pull out a stem here as people race down my street. Um, this is the um, primrose, water primrose. And I think this species was, is Hexapetala. This did great. The stems were nice. It's clean. It was so easy to pull, you know, pull out of the, the tub. I just kind of broke off some of these stalks and uh, just wound them up in the in the buckets. Really good. Did really well. So those were the plants. I also had um, a bunch of water sprite that I just actually kind of threw into the bucket here. I've got one bucket of refuse. So this is what basically came out of either the bottom of the tank or just was kind of tangled and, and junky. Um, the thing I don't want to do is I don't want to throw this away right now because there's a ton of little freshwater shrimp in here. And so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But um, as a great live food source, I would love to see if I can kind of explore how to use those, culture them. Um, obviously, there's just tons of them in there. They're, they're just swimming everywhere. The fish themselves, I'll go through those. The, uh, let's see what I got here. So now here's, here's the Gambusia. Uh, I had two females and uh, a couple males, and sure enough, that's what I ended up with. So in two months, you would have to think that those females would have been dropping fry. Um, and I'm sure they were. I'm also sure that they were getting eaten. So either by these guys themselves or the top minnows. As I found out with the um, Giardinus falcatus, the top minnows are pretty predatory when they have something small enough. So th uh, 60 days, I ended up with exactly what I put in, which is really surprising to me. Um, in terms of the golden's, golden top minnows, and you can see them right there, um, you can see the, the males have those uh, big the red spots. Here's a male right here, and um, a female, female. Um, they're looking great. And I had seven of them that I put in, 
and I had one jump out at some point during the two months. So I did not lose a fish except for the one that jumped out. Everything else is still here, which is really surprising to me. Now I did get no fry out of the deal. I searched and searched and searched. There is there was no fry from these guys. So I'm a little disappointed with that. So if anyone has some experience with these and, and knows what to do and, and tips and tricks, I would love to hear it. I'm going to see if these guys make it through the winter. They're getting towards the end of their lifespan. I, I've had them now for about a year, so year and a half. So if they don't make it to spring, then I'll get some more and I'll try again. I'd like to see if I can get uh, some um, breeding and some uh, reproduction out of these guys. So the next species I had in there were these guys. This is the black spotted top minnow. There was two of them, a pair, and guess what? I've got two. Now these guys in the in the aquarium are so docile. They're they're just the easiest going fish. In the pond, they were absolutely cryptic. I could not once I put them in, I never saw them again until now. So basically there they reemerge 60 days later looking fabulous. And I really wish I'd gotten some um, new fry out of these guys, but um, there they are. The next ones I've got are these guys. These are the Eastern Starhead top minnows, Escambier, Fundulus Escambier. And um, I had three, and I've got three. Now I still see there's a. The males and the females both get red spots, I believe, so it's hard for me to tell on these guys. Um, but, um, and, the, and they look very similar, so it's very hard for me to tell um, if I have a pair. I'm assuming I do, but um, again, no fry out of these either, but they look great. Colors look good. They're very healthy. Um, that they certainly do really well in a pond setting. There's something to be said for a container pond and how fish do. And it was so easy. I didn't have any kind of air filtration or, or um, anything. And I, I would say that, you know, going back here to the plants, that was something that really surprised me. There was almost no algae in this tub. I mean, there was, you know, just a layer of stuff at the bottom, you know, but uh, in terms of green you know, hair algae or yucky water. It was pretty amazing how good it was. Um, if you kept it longer than 60 days, maybe you would have to kind of do a partial water change. But other than that, I would just leave it alone and, and see what goes on. I'm also curious if you had a, a bubbling sponge filter, um, how much better it might do. I don't know. Maybe it would, um, the plant growth would be really crazy. So. The last thing I've got that was in here were my platies, and obviously they're just doing fabulous. The colors are so good. Um, I had a couple um, maculatus, the rainbow females. I had one variatus um, high fin that one of the kids wanted one time, and then I just had a few um, babies that are juveniles that I put in here. So I did have some breeding on these guys. Clearly not very much, and they are very slow, you know, the slow growers, so they're not very big. Um, there's a little baby that was probably born in there. Uh, maybe, surely one right there. Um, some of these little guys maybe. So we're probably dropped almost right away. I wanna get these into the aquarium inside, but um, interesting that um, those did well but the Gambusia did not. So um, somehow these guys are either stronger, better hiders. The, um, it could be that, you know, the Gambusia, they like to just stay up at the top, the fry, and it could be that they just get picked off by the um, top minnows from down below. They're kind of like sharks, you know, these top minnows. They kind of go down, and then I'm sure they just are getting stuff right at the surface. And uh, mosquito fish fry are probably right there on the top of the list for eating. So anyways, guys, that's the, the pond. I've got some ideas for how I want to um, do
do this next year, obviously give it a few more months, see what happens, and uh, maybe change up what goes into it. And um, I think next year I'm going to play around a little bit with some water lettuce and some other um, water plants, but um, by and large, really happy with how it turned out. And we'll talk to you soon.